Hey everybody, it's haul time. Buddy Eddie in Ontario scored Titans Return Leader Overlord the other day. I went to Walmart, sure enough, they had him today. So, very, very happy to finally have some version of Overlord. The G1 figure is on my grail list, as I'm sure it's on most G1 Collector's Grail list is to have Overlord. And this Titan's Return one, where he's a bit shorter and he's not really a power master, it's still a really awesome figure. I'm not going to take the time to go through all of his modes or anything right now, because this is a haul video, but keep these little doors open. He did, of course, include where he would put his two power masters. And you can put two Titan masters in there. So you can mimic, or you can imitate, him having his two Power Masters. And he does not have the gun drop down here, that's just painted, but still. Very, very happy with this figure. Didn't have to put any stickers on him either. All the stickers came applied. And continuing on with Transformers, I guess the rest of this is all going to be Value Village. Uh, yesterday I found this Mighty Mug Soundwave. Had to grab that. This Connects Titanfall set that wasn't built, 99 cents. Couldn't say no to that. I really wanted to get some of the Titans they had for these sets. But I have a, a pop figure of the, the Atlas Titan. So that'll be a good little display to put with my pop Titan. Because it might be almost same scale. Some Ninja Turtle stuff in Valley Village. I've seen this bike there so many times and never grabbed it. It was in the bag with this um, storage weapon or storage shell, Raphael, who normally when you see these guys used, they're always missing the back of the shell or they're missing part of the belt. But this one was in really great shape and it had the bike and missing the sidecar, of course, but I might come across those one sometime I'm going, so worth picking up. And I already had Metalhead, but I did not have the Cheapskate. And the Cheapskate is an awesome vehicle. Friend had it as a kid. I always wanted it. Never had it. Had that foot came out. Kick enemies. Awesome little vehicle. But the thing I am most excited for is this wonderful, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, Sectars Hall. Skulk and Trancula are the two figures I wanted the most. And I already had Trancula, but it, I did not have his rider, Skulk. And mine has the upper fangs busted off and the antennas completely busted. This one, half the antenna's gone, but you know what? It's still not that bad. To actually find one of these for cheap. I think it was $3.99 Value Village. Can't say no to that. I should have put my uh, phone on the tripod so I can show you why these guys are so awesome. If I can get it on one handed. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah. But Sectars were very large figures. For back in the day. Oh, now he's falling off the mount. Crap. Sorry for the crappy camera here. Shoot. I don't know what I can do. I'll just pause. There. I should have done that before. I forgot I can pause the video. So, all the mounts in Sectars are hand puppets. So how cool is that? Because like I said, they're large figures. They're bigger than Masters of the Universe. They're quite tall. And Skulk was on his mount, and he had a harness and a pistol and his spear. It's not his harness and it's not his pistol, but the fact that that was all together just sitting on the shelf at Valley Village, I could not believe it. He-Man has his battle cap. Man, a friggin' big friggin' tarantula. You can, like, make him eat stuff. That's awesome. So, 
that was very, 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 very exciting because I've wanted one of these great condition for a long time. So I'll stop playing with the puppet now. But uh, yeah, just a, a couple haul items here. A couple really great items. As always, thanks for watching. Sir got carried away. But what's the point of having toys if you don't play with them?